have to make sure about it that my project this activity is going to take one day this activity is going to take maybe two days or if i talk about the construction activities i should be knowing that my layout and marking how many days i need to put over here 10 days site preparation maybe 20 days but this maybe is not okay i cannot put any figure over there I need to proceed with the proper process, which is called estimate activity duration. So estimate activity duration, in other words, it means that we have to follow a proper procedure whenever we are going to work under any organization. There are certain authorities, standards, there are benchmarking criteria, right? Which because when you are going to prepare this project schedule, this project schedule or you can call it baseline. You are going to submit this complete project schedule to client. Now this client is going to ask you the back end mind, mindset, the logic, why you are going to give 20 days over here, why you are going to give 10 days over here. So start with such kind of questions. Ask yourself how you will be justifying such kind of things. Okay. They are also going to ask you that why you are going to put here finish to start relationship among these two activities. But there is a logic. Obviously, once I am done with layout and marking, then I'm going to start site preparation, right? If site preparation is done, then I'm going to start formation of embankment. Then I'm going to start this one. This first layer is going to start. Then second layer is going to start, right? This is the logical thing. But the same logic I have to provide to my client over here that why I am putting 20 days, why I am not putting here 40 days, why I am not putting here 10 days, why I am not putting here 50, why only 20 days. So that is the first question you should ask as a planning engineer to yourself and that is what we are going to resolve in today's session. Whenever we, going to, we are going to ask ourselves this question, the process should come in mind, estimate activity estimate activity duration now you know that within every activity there is a certain work quantum okay any activity let's say if there is an activity i am going to actually give an example for a certain activity the same philosophy will be applicable across all the project activities work quantum will be defined let's say i'm going to take an example of uh, formation of embankment there are any activity there can be welding joints there can be pipeline there can be fabrication there can be concrete pouring steel whatever let's say i am going to make over here foe formation of embankment uh, as a background of this uh, activity formation of embankment means you are getting soil sand from the area supply area and going to dump into the area where you want to construct the road or you can take the example of excavation right excavation everybody knows about the you know you have visualized excavation there is an activity within boq it is given that already from the design document it will be derived there that you are going to make twelve thousand cubic meter this is actually your total work okay this is your total work twelve thousand cubic meter right this is your given in your boq okay now you have to convert this work into the man hours that is a duration na? from man hours you can convert into duration so in the midway you need something like uh, you know there is productivity you need productivity productivity the definition of productivity is work done in unit time in unit time what is the justification of 75 days so total quantum total quantum of work total quantum of work a total quantity divided by productivity is going to give you total man hours now total man hours are divided by per day effort per day effort is going to give you days 10 hours na days right do you understand is it okay the justification 
these two formulas are explaining each and everything and before their what is productivity productivity is work done in unit time hour which is these three formulas are actually going to justify complete things is it understandable for you people just write in the uh, full form productivity pr productivity is equal to work done per unit time then total man hours total quantum of work which is given in the boq per, divided by productivity then how you are going to conclude the days convert this total man hours into days total man hours divided by per day effort please let me know in the chat box is it clear